Morning everyone. We are heading to a workshop that you all might know about. We haven't told them we're coming, so hopefully uh, my mate Josh is there. But uh, if that hasn't given it away, you'll see very soon where we're heading. But uh, we've probably traveled a bit over an hour, hour and 15 minutes to get here. So it'd be a bit of a bummer if he's not there. We'll be there in a minute, so. <laughs> so here we are, eh? Look at his daily. Freaking cute. <laughs> He's got no idea I'm here. These little silences. <laughs> I've actually never been to this shop, so. This will be interesting. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at him hiding in his little tower. <laughs> what? No. Then Gisberg's car. Obviously, he's daily. So, anyway, we're here in the shop. Josh is going to give us a bit of a tour and and explain exactly what they do here. He's pretty keen to tell us. <laughs> but yeah, he's got uh, Van Gisberg's daily here at the moment. I don't know what he's doing. He's obviously putting a lot of these parts in here. <laughs> so this is the new Commodore. V6, not even a V8. God, they cheaped out on him. <laughs> All right, here he is, the man himself. Oh, God. Hello. How are we all? Hello. What happens in here, Josh? Uh, this is where the main assembly of the internal components happen. Yeah, right. This is all the, the shafts, the bodies, the internal ceiling components, the valving, pistons. Yep. All right, we'll get a quick rundown on what's happening with this car. So this is, uh, yes, this is Shane Van Gisbergen's Commodore. Yep. Uh, the new one. Uh, it's actually a really good car. I know a lot of people aren't a big fan of these things, but as long as you remember that it's not a HSB Club Sport replacement. But it's only a V6. So was the other one. Oh. <laughs> is it really? The other Com uh, Commodores were V6s before. There was only some that were V8s. Oh, but yeah, but I thought they would have given him like a V8 or something. Oh, no, that is an option. Oh. No. This is a European car. They don't do V8s over there much. Uh, okay. um, but yeah, so this is like an Opel or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what are you doing to make it better? Uh, well, basically, Shane just wants to <laughs> slam it on its guts. Oh, okay. Um, and so, I'm attempting to do that, but uh, it's been a bit of a mission. I've never <laughs> seen this kind of a thing before. Uh, we had to. This is like old school days where you have to pretty much dismantle the whole front of a car to get shocks out. Um, but yeah, this is this is like I, I've just never. Yeah, <laughs> it's interesting. Um, typically, uh... European everything's difficult and very very detailed and technical. Um, but yeah, so uh, had to had to take the whole yeah wheel bearing knuckle yeah um, right brakes so everything. You're gonna have to do something completely custom for this. Yeah yeah. So as with any first model of something yep. we do, there's you know it's gonna have a level of custom to it. Um, and then once it's done, you'll be selling this as an off the shelf. Uh yeah, pretty much. Yep. Like uh, yeah, I mean I know these. There's not exactly a hundred million of these no. things getting around. But if you um, do own a Commodore but if, yeah. wagon, then you <laughs> want of these new ones, or, and you want suspension. Sedan as well, they'll yeah. all be the same, I'm sure. Oh, so it will be the same for a sedan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd imagine so. I probably yeah. can't say that for certain right now, but I'd say yeah. there's a pretty good chance it'll but be the same. MCA yeah. suspension will cater for your, your new Commodores. Probably so. not too many other. And um, yeah, for, for a road car, um, I, I can't really fault anything about it, and everything is quite good. Yep. So, you know, that's cool. and, and for my standards, that's actually a fair bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. No worries. All right, let's move on to the next thing. So we've got, um, this is sort of where, well, all these shelves here is a lot of stock. We're actually pretty low on stock for a lot of things at the moment. Really? Because um, you don't look it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some stuff we're not, but there's still stuff we are. Um, oh, you've even got wings? This is the, <laughs> yeah, we sell these wings. Yeah. That's for my X6 out, out the front there. Yeah, we'll show um, you guys that in a minute too. Josh is going to give us a full rundown on how to lower your car properly. With with properly designed shocks as well. Yes. Uh, yeah. So with our shocks, basically, and, yeah. and, and other high-end shocks like uh, you know Olin's and Riger and yeah. 
uh, Penske and things like that. But um, we'll explain that yeah, a little bit that's later. Another, that's for that's for later. Um, yeah, we just got a basic sort of machine sort of room here. We don't do too much actual machining and stuff yep. in, at this workshop. So that's a another thing in case you guys don't know. Murray Coote, Josh's dad, he still runs the gold and the silver series. Just a, basically just the gold series now. Yeah, yeah, just the gold series, and then Josh covers pretty much everything else. Yeah. So, red series, blue series, and all the series in between that vary and change depending yeah. on the year and stuff. But yeah. So Josh is pretty much giving his old man enough time to work on the time attack car, <laughs> the drift cars, well, and yeah. I mean, this this was all sort of dad. Dad definitely helped me get this all started. Yeah. Yeah. It was all sort of my little project and idea and things anyway. Yeah, um, definitely. So yeah, dad's just doing what he's always done. Yeah. And I've just sort of stopped working for dad and now just do this and work for me and have employees of my own. Yeah. Which is fun. And you're killing it. It's doing, <laughs> it's, it's awesome to see. Oh, Josh has got merch too. In case you didn't know. He's got hats, hoodies. Yes, yeah, so we hang them from our shelves. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then we've got some, uh, uh, what I call the external assembly area. Yep. Um, so that's just these couple of benches here. We walk through. We've got um, all the little sort of bits and pieces, nuts and uh, bolts and adjusters oh, cool. and things that screw on. You can even get different colours. Yep, that's the go. Lots Ooh. of different colours. <laughs> um, people like colours. Yep. Uh, yeah, so that all gets, you can see there, there's one here laid out. Um, so we've got the mounts, the spring seats, you know, the bump stops and springs and everything like that all sort of ready to go. So what's, what would this be for? This here looks like it's a Subaru Impreza of some sort, late model one. Oh no, it's in Forrester. Take the same mounts, so there you go. So, uh, yep, so there's a Subaru Forester set. Here's, uh, what have we got here? Uh, this one's a Subaru Impreza late model SDI. Yeah, right. Um, it's all ready to be packed up. Uh, and then we come to the freight area, which is also a bit barren at the moment, uh, as we're out of boxes of sorts. <laughs> um, it's actually, the... honestly, been really, really hectic. But Josh does actually do a heap of videos to give you guys an insight into pretty much everything coil over and suspension wise so I think that's obviously been a big help as well like, yeah, yeah we've got some some YouTube videos and yeah. things out there there's definitely something there's a lot more I can do with yeah. that um, it's, just time. it's just time yeah. uh, I'm working on it you know uh, the, every every day the business is getting more and more in a way that the guys can run themselves a bit yep. and not need me quite so much um, so you know over time that'll get better and better and better yeah. but yeah one day one day. <laughs> For now, there's just mostly lots of videos of the, our race cars and things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. If you're if you want to inquire about coilovers now, there's no distributors. It's direct to uh, you guys, or yeah, we do have lots of on sellers. Yeah. Uh, we have lots of on sellers. Uh, you know, all, all throughout the country, uh, working on getting a couple in some other yeah. uh, in some other countries as well. Uh, but um, so if I was to direct any of yeah, people. look, it's it's best to come direct to us, yeah. uh, at least for the information gathering side yeah. of things. You know, figuring out what you're after, uh, what's going to you know suit you the best, and things like that. Because as as as, as good as our as our on sellers are and as keen as they are, uh, you know, we're still the suspension yeah. experts and yeah. the specialists. So um, you know, even if it's uh, just to, to figure out what sort of product is going to suit you best, it's best to yeah. um, you know email us or call us or something cool. like that. So and we can go through it all. I'll put all those details in the description below. Uh, but yeah. If you guys need anything or you want to ask any specific questions, put them in the comments and I'll try to get Josh to respond to them if I can't answer them. <laughs> but you got to understand yeah. he's ridiculously busy. So yeah, awesome. Not that day, but yeah. Oh, let's get cracking onto this 86. All right, and, uh, cool. See, to me, this is, there's no issue here. It's just a perfect streetable height, but. It, it is a streetable height, but it's too high. It, it, <laughs> you can have streetable and lower. <laughs> uh, so this has got, what vinyl on it? Unicorn. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, well, they can't really see that yet. But no. Yeah, it's uh, it's 3M, uh, 1080 psychedelic. Yep. Uh, is the name of it, and it was actually the first car in Australia um, to have this vinyl. Uh, while it was all being sea freighted to all the different sort of distributors and, and shops and things, uh, we actually got it air freighted over um, wow. and got it on the car. So uh, yeah, Before he was, beat everyone. Yeah, beat everyone. So it was uh. the first one in Australia with this with this vinyl. I wasn't. I wasn't. I didn't know Jake was coming by the way. So the car's also <laughs> dirty. Um, it's clean to me. It's, it's dirty. It's I'm not going to touch it because it'll make it look worse. But looks like your tires are a bit bald. What's going on here? Uh, well, they're really expensive tires. They're three one five thirty eighteens. Uh, stretched Jesus. onto a 13 inch wheel and they're Pirelli's because you pretty much just can't <laughs> buy, like it's pretty much a Porsche tire. There's not that many options. So oh, I'm using them, I've, I've already flipped them over, uh, you know, trying to use them uh, every little bit of it as much I can. So no, you've done well, mate. Uh, yeah, and on the front, it's actually pretty insane. Um, I don't have the keys on me right now, but it's a 295 3018 on a 12 and a half on the front. How do you get, like, has it got no lock at all? Or? No, full lock. 
Wow. Full lock and only maybe ever so slight, slight little scrub depending on specific yeah sort of situation yeah uh, like as far as just at the front and the rear of the wheel arches but no it doesn't nothing hits any guards or anything like that obviously because shocks and stuff is what i do um <laughs> but uh but you know it, it's a fully usable road car uh you know full lock um yeah and i think it's probably got the biggest wheels and tires on any 86 probably in the world that probably, actually yeah that actually drives yeah um and is a daily yeah and and, and can be daily sort Definitely. of thing so take uh, that tj hunt <laughs> <laughs> take that anybody kind of choke This is the toolkit to lower your car with MCA suspension. And this. And obviously that, and <laughs> these stands if your car is ridiculously low. Like these are actually, thing. these little ramps are really quite cool. They're from GK Tech. That is ridiculous. Yeah. All right, what have we got in this thing? Okay, so this is actually uh, some sort of experimental red series at the moment. Yep. Uh, they, they've just got a bit of a, it's got one of our, up, like the stealth option. Yep. Um, and uh, which is where we, we sort of use all black components, uh, make things look a little bit more OEM-ish. Yep. And also I just think it looks cool just to have it all black. Yeah. This one's a little bit different. Most of the shocks that people are probably used to, plus most of ours up until recently, have a second locking ring here. Yep. Um, but just recently I've started doing uh, a grub screw in the side because Sim not, in this case it's fine, yep. but uh, to have either option. But in some cases where there's very minimal sort of uh, adjustment room, yep. it just helps. He just gets rid of an extra eight mil or so. Similar to your silver series that you used to. Uh, yeah, 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 yep. yeah, yeah. Similar to that. Yep. So you'd be, you'd know all about that. Yep. So yeah, they don't have to be very tight. You just loosen them off. I'm gonna measure this first so I know where I am. Because if you did do them up really tight, it could damage the thread as well. Uh, so basically, there's there's a grub screw in there that screws in, and then it just sort of pushes a little bit of aluminium onto the thread. Oh, cool. So if you push it really hard, you'll squish the aluminium into all the grooves and everything. Yeah. And then it basically won't really release that yep. well, and it'll be hard to adjust. Okay. So don't screw it up too tight. Yeah. Um, so I'm just measuring my perch, which is basically how much black thread there is there. Yep. Uh, so at the moment I'm looking at uh, around about sort of 89 or so. Yep. So um, how much do you want to lower this? I actually hadn't thought about that yet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll go, I'll go 20 mil on the rear. Yeah. Yep. That'll be good enough for now anyway. Yep. I don't want to go too crazy. So 20 mil on the rear, you're just yeah. going to move that down 20 mil? 20 mil, yeah. yeah. Which will be about 25 mil at the wheel because oh, okay. see how this is yep. um, sort of, this, this shock absorber is mounted sort of inboard of the wheel a bit yep. on this arm. And so what that means is that, um, it, you know, the wheel will move further than it does kind of thing. Yeah. Um, uh, because of the, obviously the arm pivoting on the inner one there. So this distance moves less than this distance out here. Yeah. Now one for thing, the people yeah. out there that are noticing that the spring isn't moving. Oh yeah. Okay. Well that's, uh, well yeah, we've got these helper springs here. Yep. Which help keep the spring up and captive. Yep. So uh, yeah, so that means no matter sort of how loose they are, the helper spring will yep. so keep once, the spring located and up there. So once the weight's on that spring, will obviously yeah. drop a long way. Yeah, yep. I can do it by hand. So yep. the car's weight definitely compresses it fully. Cool. Just so, yeah, so this you is guys... simply just to keep the spring captive. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a tuning aspect of it. Some of them are. Some springs won't fully compress under yep. the car's weight. Um, and that and that starts to become yeah more of a, a tuning performance sort of thing, but uh, I don't mess around with those things because I honestly don't think they're worthwhile. Um, you've got to have a car pretty damn dialed in before you'll start messing around with that. And most people, even if they think they got their car dialed in, they probably don't <laughs> really. So, so yeah, you can see that little grub screw here. Yep, just in the side, just there. And yeah, so I just nip that up with an Allen key. Doesn't have to be tight, just just slightly firm. Yep, can't move it by hand. Nothing Goody. else can move it. So now. What's obviously a bit different here is that we've adjusted the height by the spring perch. Now, for a lot of people, um, that will still be uh, a bit of a confusing aspect to it. Yep. Um, back when I first started doing suspension, it, it, it was pretty much everybody. Um, not everybody, but most, you know, a lot of people. Um, because for, for years, the only shocks or products like this that, are, that were sort of uh, easily available to the masses uh, were coming out of Asia and places. And I feel like, this probably sounds bad, but I feel like some of these these other coilover, you know, coilover 
because um, by the way these come factory with coilovers. Coilovers have just come, kind of become the generic name for aftermarket <laughs> adjustable shocks, kind of like Band-Aid. You know, it's not really a Band-Aid, it's a whatever it is. But, um, but you know, the brand is Band-Aid, not the... It's just a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> what Josh is trying to say is if you want coilovers done right, <laughs> Hit him up. That's, yeah, <laughs> in like, yeah, 10 words, that's a lot. But <laughs> Pretty much. That's what I'm trying to say. Pretty much. But, um, but I'm trying to obviously explain why and things and give yep. you know, context, not just say, hey, we're the yeah, best, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And I don't for an instant think that we're the best or anything like that. But I think we do the basics very well. And, and you understand and exactly, I understand how exactly they what's going on yep. and, and, and all sort of stuff. So, um, as I said, you know, people are probably confused as to why I'm adjusting the, the you know, the, uh, the, the spring perch there for yep. height um, and, and not the bottom mount. So, the best way I, I think, there's a lot of different ways I've explained this over the years, but I think at the moment the one I like the most is, if you think of it this way, the amount of chrome shaft on the shock absorber is how far the wheel can move. Yep. It's up and down range, that's how far it can move, that's how much chrome shaft is on the shock, right? So, and then what the bottom mount controls, or basically the length of the shock, because that's what you're adjusting when you're adjusting the bottom mount, you're adjusting the length of the shock absorber. And so what that controls is where that travel range is in relationship to the car. So say, say that's the travel range. So uh, that's, that's how much, say, chrome shaft the shock has. Uh, the bottom mount controls where that range is in relationship to the car, where the wheel's going to stop up and down. Okay? And I think when I explain it like that, I think it's pretty straightforward. So you, get the shock, you set up the shock absorber so that the shock absorber fully bottoms out, fully compresses, can't go any further at the point that you need the wheel to stop going upwards. It's as simple as that. Now people might think, oh, you can't have shocks fully compressing. Well, you can if you build them properly. For instance, so when Josh first got shocks in my BMW, he wasn't, he was obviously in Queensland and I was wherever I was in the wherever world. I think yeah. I was Sydney. Yeah, okay. Um, so all you do is take the spring out and then obviously there's no pressure on the shock itself and you just jack from the lower control arm yep. up and see what hits first, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so that's and what we do. Uh, yeah, no spring, no bump stop as well. Yep. And that way we can just cycle the suspension through and see what happens. Yep. And then we can adjust the, the length of the shock to the point where the wheels, you know, stops, uh, like goes far up as possible, yep. but stops before there's actually any bad contact. Cool. Uh, um, yeah, all right, so let me just double check that again. I'm pretty sure that was 69-ish. And obviously whatever you do on this side, you gotta match the other side. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. 69, all right. MCA also do these bullet wheel nuts. They're pretty cool. Those ones probably aren't the best example. <laughs> They're the only example I've got right now. <laughs> So we won't be taking the wheel off this nah, one. I don't need to. I don't know if we can see in there. Nah. No. There's probably nothing to see anyway. No. Anyway, it's the same setup as the rear. Yeah. The rear's starting to settle a bit now. This is Josh's street height. Although it will be... In there. Yeah. I think I've seen it lower. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It varies. Yeah. Depending Depends on if I'm trying to impress somebody or not. <laughs> Depends what car meet he's going to. <laughs> exactly. Get ready for it. Whoa. <laughs> There's how you lower MCA suspension on an 86, and that is based on like the same design or the same yep. thing we did there as all the suspension that you. Yeah, with the, that we do. Yeah. Yep, yep. So the red, the blue, yep. everything. Yep. Street performance, street essential, street ultimate, race primes. Yep. All of it. <laughs> awesome. Gold series. All of it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Eves, uh, Josh. That was uh, that was cool. And um, I've got to say, I'm a big fan of 86. I'm not really I'm not really into them, but this one's yeah. Yeah, yeah, damn cool. No, I, I, um, I, I was always uh, more of a Nissan guy, as yep. you know. Um, and 
now and, and I'm pretty picky about things and now I have three of them so I guess <laughs> you know it's got to be a half a right sort of car doesn't it? definitely <laughs> definitely um, but yeah no I, 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 this thing came together like unlike I, I never I didn't plan for it to be like this from the get-go yeah um, it, it just sort of happened that way you know transformation from stock to this was probably like a few months yeah uh, probably really more like a, I remember it happening months. yeah super yeah. quick so and uh, it just sort of happened and yeah I sort of haven't changed it since. Nah, good on you, man. Thanks heaps, Josh. And cool. I know we'll sort of surprise you with this visit, but yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. I've wasted enough of your time now. So, <laughs> right. um, yeah, massive thanks. And if you guys want to know any more questions or whatever, I'll, I'll try and answer everything you guys chuck in the comments. But anything extra, I'll try and get Josh to just jump on the video and uh, answer a few things. But if you're in the market for suspension, hit up MCA. All right, Josh. Thanks, buddy. Cool. See you later, guys. Posties love it. Hey. <laughs> oh, it's a hit, Josh. You've done well, mate. <laughs>